What's up everybody, how's it going? Today is a very, very, very big day. Not because it's three days after my birthday, although that's a pretty big deal too, but because today we are launching a long-awaited, very, very, very big feature on Algo Expert. And by the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews, then do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, CLEM for a discount on the platform. But so today we are launching mock coding interviews on Algo Expert. That's right, for the longest time now, our customers at Algo Expert have told us that they love our UI, they love our content, they love our coding workspace. The one thing that they really want is the ability to do a mock coding interview, the closest thing to a real coding interview, meaning a coding interview with a real human being on a shared coding workspace. They want to be able to do that right here on Algo Expert, and that is what is now available starting today. This is a huge feature that has really been a very long time in the making. It took tons and tons and tons of work and hours scoping it out, designing it, implementing it, polishing it, debugging it, all sorts of work. I'm probably going to do a, an entire video about this covering the sort of software development life cycle of this feature. But in this video, I want to give you a quick little demo to give you a taste of what a mock coding interview looks like on Algo Expert. With that, sit back, relax, smash the like button for your favorite software engineering YouTuber, follow me on LinkedIn, and let's dive into the mock interview feature on Algo Expert. So you're going to want to go to algoexpert.io, of course, and you will find this new mock interview feature on the content drop-down menu here. As you can see, it's a new feature in beta. This is something that I want to explicitly call out. This was a gigantic feature, like I said, very, very complex to implement, especially from an engineering point of view. So it is in beta. You have access to everything about the feature, but it is in beta for now. And as you can see, the first thing on the page of the feature is these instructions, or are these instructions, basically go through them, tell, tell you how to use the feature, guidelines for the feature. You'll notice that we've got two options. So either you can do a mock interview with a random Algo Expert user. This might be what most people use, presumably, or you will literally just you know request to schedule an interview on a given time, and I'll show you in a second, and you will be paired with someone who matches your preferences, and you will be able to do a mock coding interview with them. Or you could do one with a friend where you just generate a shareable link that you can give them, and then they can join you and do a mock coding interview with you. And here we even allow people who do not own Algo Expert to do one mock coding interview with a friend who gives them a link. But so these are the instructions. Once you're done reading them, you can go to your profile. You're going to fill out a very short profile. So you'll put your nickname, whatever you want to appear on the mock interview platform. So I'll just put Clem here. You're going to put your email address. I'll put a fake one for now, test at gmail.com. You would put your real email address. This is just to give you updates about the mock interview. Then you're going to select the language that you want to interview in, or if you have multiple that you'd be down to interview in, you can put multiple. I'll put JavaScript here. That's what I did uh, for my Facebook interviews. I was preparing in JavaScript because I did my interviews in JavaScript. And then the languages that you can read, because here, if you pair with a random user, you will also be the interviewer in the mock interview, so you'll play both roles. And so here, I'll put JavaScript and maybe Python, because you know I'm comfortable interviewing someone in Python. I can read Python very well. I wrote all the solutions in Python on Algo Expert. And then finally, you're going to select the question difficulties that you're willing to get. And so here by default, we recommend that you just go with medium, hard, and above, you know, very hard plus, because that is the typical difficulty for a coding interview question in a real coding interview. Once that's done, you save your profile and you can move on to the scheduler tab where you can actually schedule a mock interview. And here, if you were to do one with a friend, you would just go to this option and just generate a shareable link and send it to them. But otherwise, you go here, you can see you've got a little calendar where you can basically request interview time slots, I think two weeks in advance. We even tell you some of the time slots that are popular. So if time slots are in green here, that means that there's somebody 
who's almost certainly going to match with you if you click that time. And so you can just look around, you know, you can pick multiple time slots if you are okay with interviewing at any time. We'll pick, let's say, 11 p.m. today. So then I'm going to request my mock coding interview. I'm going to go to my interviews tab here. I'll see that I've requested an interview. Okay, my language is JavaScript. I'm okay with any difficulty. Here's my available time. I'll be notified uh, by email when there's a match. And if I refresh the page, if you remember the 11 p.m. time slot that I selected was green, meaning that somebody was waiting at that time slot, if I refresh the page, I'll see that I have been matched with someone. And so I can see the two interviews that we'll be doing in the single mock interview. So the first one, I'm going to be the interviewer, and I'm going to be giving my partner zigzag traverse. And here, by the way, we have a you know pretty robust scheduling system, matching system. So we try to make sure that you've never done a question that you're given. You know, we look at which questions you've attempted on Algo Expert, all of that good stuff. So here, I'm going to have to prepare zigzag traverse for my partner. I don't know what I'm going to get because naturally I want this to be as real as a real coding interview can be. And then it tells me that in 18 hours, I'm going to be able to unlock this mock coding interview because that is when it will start. Then eventually the interview will start. So you will unlock the button to go to the interview. So I'll click on mock interview lobby here. I will be on this page where I'm about to join the video call for the mock interview because I'll be on a video call or at least an audio call with my mock interview partner. Here I can configure my settings. You can see my webcam, webcam section, camera section here. And I'm going to join the video call. I'll be in the video here. I'll wait for my partner to join. By the way, here you can see that the video call will end in 20 hours. That's because this is kind of a fake interview just for the purpose of this demo. Normally a video call and a mock interview would last two hours or at least up to two hours. So this would say two hours, not 20 hours. And once my partner is in the video call, once we're both happy, okay, let's start the interview. I'm going to open the shared coding workspace and this will be your classic Algo Expert Coding Workspace, except that it's shared, meaning two people are going to be typing at once, or at least they can type at once. They will see what they're both typing. One of them has a slightly different UI because they're the interviewer, whereas the other person is the interviewee. So here I'm starting as the interviewer, and it gives me a little bit of a guideline here, and then I can start. And now, as you can see, I am on this shared coding workspace. I, Clem, and the interviewer. I'm currently connected in the interview. I am apparently paired with Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the interviewee. He is not yet connected, but he will come soon, and I will be interviewing Elon Musk. I didn't know that Elon did coding interviews. But anyway, you can see that this is a shared coding workspace. If I were to type here, or if my partner were to type, we would both see each other type. If we run code, same thing. Everything is the same classic Algo Expert coding workspace with all the stuff that you know and love, except that it is shared. And if I go to the next interview, so interview two, let's say 45 minutes after we've started the mock interview, because we're done with the first part of the interview where I'm the interviewer, then we swap roles. And so here I'm going to now be the interviewee. So now Elon will be interviewing me. And once Elon interviews me, I no longer see the prompt. He has to actually tell me the prompt of the problem. And we have this shared scratch pad here, shared solutions again, same stuff, quick test, sandbox, etc. Now, once the mock interview is over, you and your partner have to give each other feedback on your performance in the mock interview. And so here I'm showing you a sample version of the feedback form that you have to complete. Now, this feedback form is heavily influenced on the actual feedback that Google software engineers have to provide for candidates who interview at Google. Specifically, if you scroll down past the general stuff, like was the person respectful, all that stuff, if you go down to the interviewee, feedback. This is really like important stuff. This is kind of how you're rated at a company like Google or other big tech companies. So you've got different categories, algorithms, coding, communication, etc. You've got four points that you can get on each category. And you've got descriptions that should guide you as the person giving the feedback. And then, you know, you can pick the scores. You pick, you know, three, three, four, two. And then you've got the final score, strong, no higher, no higher, all the way to strong, higher. So again, this should really help you because it should 
really put you in that mindset of what are interviewers at big tech companies looking out for? How do they kind of evaluate you? And then you also provide feedback for the person when they were an interviewer, just so that we know, were they a good interviewer? Were they a bad one? And yeah, that's the feedback. And then finally, you can actually see this feedback in the mock interviews UI. So here, for example, I'm back on that UI. I can see that I've got a few past mock interviews and I'm looking at the mock interview details for one of them. I can see what was this interview. Okay, it happened on October 17th. Um, we had you know two interviews. One of them was calendar matching. I was the interviewer. One of them was boggle board. I was the interviewee. And I can see the feedback that I got. So apparently I got a strong no hire here. This is obviously fake data, but you get the idea. You can see all the scores that you got. You can see whether or not you were a good interviewer. Hopefully it can give you a little bit of a pointer for future interviews or mock interviews that you do. And yeah, this should hopefully really help prepare you for your own coding interviews. So I think that's gonna be it for this demo. Hopefully it gave you a nice idea of what this feature is like. I really hope that if you are an Algo Expert customer, you're gonna use it, you're gonna love it. If you have any feedback about it, obviously let us know. We always welcome feedback. If you're not an Algo Expert customer, ask yourself, why am I not an Algo Expert customer? It's 2020, what am I waiting for? And remember, use the promo code CLEMZLM for a discount on the platform. And with that, I really hope that you enjoyed this 10 minute long ad or however long this ad was, I mean video. And if you enjoy short form written content, follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram or Twitter, sorry, not Instagram. If you enjoy pictures, follow me on Instagram and otherwise I will see you in the next video.